Well, this has got to be one of the biggest herds, well, not maybe single herd, but bunch of elephants that I've seen, I think, on Juma, because we've just had, the first herd that went through was about 15. Now, as you can see, we've got a monstrous herd that has just come down, and there are easily 40, 50 elephants now all around us. We've got bulls behind us. I can smell bulls that are in heavy mass somewhere here. Lots of babies, and everybody's having a jolly time down by the water. It is phenomenal to see this many elephants and it is so special to be in amongst them that's probably the best part about it is we've sat here and just wave after wave of elephant has come down and it is very special to be a part of this that's for sure we are very fortunate to be able to see things like this and this is the elephants that i've been missing i've been seeing quite a few bulls around and which is always nice but it's always the best when you get to spend a lot of time with a big herd like this and isn't this fantastic I could honestly spend all day with them. Oh. So Machine Gun Nest, you were saying you wanted to hear trumpeting. Well, there we go. There's a little bit of it. It was the babies that were a bit confused as to where mom was in this chaos. And they started to scream and all the moms turned and the bulls stopped what they were doing. And everybody kind of had to work out who's who. And you can see they've all clumped up on our left-hand side now as well. And that's because of the bull. Look, they're chasing the bull. You see that? So there's two bulls that are going after one another. And all the little ones in between. I don't think anybody knows what's going on. It's just pandemonium in the elephant world this afternoon. Isn't this special? I think everybody will eventually settle down once they've all worked out what's going on. You can see some of the females are trying to lead their calves away. So they're trying to take their herds and get them out of here and get them out of the way of these bulls that are competing with one another. You can see all the bulls are on this side, on the right hand side of what's going on. So they're all down that way. And there are the, another one or two spread out. And I think the females just got a little bit shy of what was going on. And so they've tried to just get all the babies away from the commotion and so that they don't mistakenly get trampled by one of the big boys chasing another young male. So it would probably mean that there is a female somewhere in here that's in heat. The amount of males that are present that are quite big would indicate that they are. And then lots of the males are smelling and sniffing. And like I say, I can smell must. So there is definitely a bull somewhere around here that's in must. I can't see which one it is just yet. But it must be one of the bigger guys on the other side of the water hole that is in this full must at the moment. But isn't this absolutely spectacular? And like I say, just to be in and amongst them and be a part of this and listen to them. Now, Megan says that I'm on the damn cam, so we'll wave to all of you. Craig, give everyone a wave. Don't, don't be shy. There we go. Hello, everybody. So there we go. Craig has even got a wave out of Craig. Then you know it's been a good day. Now, Craig, we didn't get you a pangolin so far, but this is pretty special. So I'm sure Craig will be thoroughly enjoying this as much as I am. See, this bull here has definitely had a few altercations with another one. There's one that's standing right in front of me that's got a few cuts all over his ears and it seems a few little scrapes and scars on the nose area. So I think he's probably had a few run-ins with another male. That's what it looks like by there. And you'll see on that ear area, there is a little bit of a hole that's developing. And over time, you might find that will cause a deeper hole and that will be a way to identify this male elephant. As soon as that hole goes all the way through, then he'll have one of those prominent holes that we use to identify these guys. We know that Daryl, which is an elephant that Taylor loves, and a big bull that I actually haven't seen for a while, who's got his little bell-shaped hole on his ear, and that eventually, for this male, will be a telltale sign of who he is. But this is so cool. I see some more are now coming down. It seems as though some of the males that were just having a little feed and playing around with the dam cam equipment are now starting to come down as well, and as well as some females and little ones. So I'm sure we'll get a bit of a greeting as these guys come down. Wow. Sometimes elephants have this ability just to completely take your breath away and in an afternoon like this where there's the sun setting, elephants all around you, they most certainly do do that. 
Now, a lot of you are saying just how peaceful it is, and it's mesmerizing, isn't it? For me, I would say mesmerizing, and I think if a lot of you are commenting on peaceful, maybe let's do a one-word tweet, hashtag Safari Live, as to what the Ellie's are making you feel. For me, it would be mesmerizing, and I think that's a good way to put it, and it seems as though slowly some of them are going to start departing the scene. I think it's multiple different herds that we've got at the moment, and they're all slowly leading each other away. And we've got a young bull that's coming to say hello. Hello, mister. Off you go. Which is... Wow. That was super cool. And it looks as though some of the females are actually going to come down to drink now. So what probably happened is that the females were here. We then got a massive amount of males coming through, which caused a bit of havoc. And I wouldn't be surprised if now that the males had had a drink, that the females are going to start coming down and having a drink again for themselves. Now that everything is calmed down somewhat, they can be allowed to move in and be able to take it easy and have a good drink themselves. And I'm surprised that the males, actually none of them ended up in the water itself. You'll often find when males come into these areas and there's a bit of water, as we've seen with Chitra Dam, that they will go and have a really good swim and throw water around and much like what these two look as though they're going to do. It not it beautiful with the reflection? So it's nice now. Like okay, boys. Exquisite Bliss, your one word tweet is happy? Oh, most definitely. There's actually a theory to do with elephants that the sound waves that they produce, and this may not be only for sort of you guys watching this, but also hearing them, they say that being in amongst elephants, that the sound waves they produce are actually good for the brain. They cause you to release endorphins without you even knowing it, and that's why often people either feel quite excited or feel calm and peaceful around elephants and so they say that it's almost the same way as they use dolphins as therapy for kids that have mental disabilities they use this a little bit with elephants as well they say that elephants have a very similar effect on people and so it is always an amazing feeling being around them there's those that feel a little bit uneasy and a bit untrusting because of the size of them but when you are in them and you relax it is the single best feeling to be amongst them now red fire queen sorry I didn't hear what your one word tweet is because I had some females just creeping up at the back and I wasn't actually listening too well serene is what you say oh yes it is serene until the males arrive the males cause a little bit of a sort of disturbance and we find there's a bit of noise that's made when the males are here but otherwise it has been a very serene setting and now that everything has calmed down a little bit and they're all spread out it seems to be a lot more peaceful and serene now Mischief, your one word tweet, which I think is probably my favorite one, is just the simple woohoo. And I agree, this has been a woohoo moment and a very good one. And there is another woohoo moment that is happening all the way on the other side of Africa, and that is with Scotty Dyson, who is apparently still sitting with those big furry cats.